Hi guys, this is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com. Uh, winter's approaching. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to show you some gloves that are compatible with touchscreen devices, um, in particular with capacitive touchscreens found on most modern smartphones. These are Isotoner's uh, Smart Touch gloves. You can see they have special threads here on the thumb and index finger on both hands, a grippy surface uh, made of cloth. And they run about $30. And we've also got a pair of knitted gloves, stretchy knitted gloves, from a company called A Glove. You can see it's the AG symbol from the periodic table. It's because there's silver threads in these gloves that uh, add the connectivity layer that uh, normal gloves lack, so as you can use any of the fingers with your touchscreen devices. And these run about $18. And then we've got this solution here called Glove Tips. And uh, Glove Tips, what they do is they give you just little conductive tips that you add to your existing leather gloves. And this runs about $20, and Glove Tips also sent us a pair of regular, you know, generic leather gloves just so we could try them out. So we're going to take a look at all three of those solutions and tell you what we think. Okay, so here's Isotoner's Smart Touch gloves. Um, these are the $30 gloves. See, there's, They come in a bunch of different colors, men's and women's sizes. Uh, these are black men's large. You can see there's fleece on the side. Here's that grippy webbing here. It also makes it stretch a little bit. And of course, the important part are the two touch sensitive patches of uh, thread here. This is the index finger and this is the thumb down here and they work on the touch screen. So here I have the glove on. It's nice and comfortable. And I've got a phone here. This is a Samsung Focus. You can see I can just grab the screen and it um, tracks. You need to hit it kind of straight on because if you hit it a little bit too far to the side you know it won't work. But if you hit it straight on it works pretty well. And I can swipe and use the thumb as well. So let's go down to Google Mail, and uh, again, you can see the swipes work just fine. Create a new message, and I'm just going to type something in here, and let's see how it works. Now, normally I'm a thumb typer, so let's try with a thumb and see how it works. I'm trying to do this as a test. Now, I haven't practiced at all, so these are right out of the box. This is a test message, so I got close. You can tap on that and uh, see this is down there. I don't think it's going to match that, so instead I'm going to retype it, and the autocorrect at least will fix it this time. So works. Um, it'll definitely take some getting used to, though. Discard that and go back to the start screen again and you know not bad but um we'll definitely take some getting used to and you can assume that it'd be a little bit better if, if I weren't uh, you know using it behind a camera but as is you know the way I use the thumb here I actually use this part of my thumb the side and that doesn't really work so I have to kind of unnaturally hold it straight on so same thing if you're using the finger it has to be straight on so that might be a problem for some people next up the silver infused a gloves you can see the AG right there. These are pretty light, so these uh, might knock the edge off of the uh, bitter cold, but they're not going to keep you super duper warm. Uh, the Isotoner Smart Touch gloves are much, much heavier gloves. But you can see these are these are men's large. I usually wear an extra large, um, but they're stretchy, so it's not really an issue. So again, let's uh, pull up the phone. And you can see I can use the side of my thumb, everything it works. It's uh, tracks a little funny. You can see it's a little jittery, um, but I can still swipe. You know, it's not bad, but it is a little jittery because I guess the uh, contact patch is a little unpredictable. Let's go into Google Mail again. New message. Having a little bit of trouble, and it's. I was just about to mention it's very, very slippery. You really need two hands here. Um, these gloves on a slick device really difficult. Um, they really need some sort of grip like the isotoner so this is, makes it dangerous if you're holding an expensive phone. So let's see how this works though. This is a, this feels much better. This is a test message here. I'm using whatever part of the thumb I normally would use. Works really well. Easily tap and select a message. I select a word or whatever. You know, 
quite nice, just dangerous. So um, again, compromises here. So let's discard this one. And we'll try the third pair, but before we try the third pair with the glove tips, we have to install them. So while the $18 A-Glove system is uh, inexpensive and simple, if you've already got a favorite pair of gloves and you want to use those, you have to use something like this $20 kit from Glove Tips. And that consists of this nasty looking threading needle, some conductive fabric, and a little adhesive backed patch of uh, fabric here with the conductive thread and the long thread that leads back to this fabric which then picks up the conductivity from your hand. So uh, you get three of these so you can do a, say a thumb and an index finger or and another thumb or a thumb and uh, these two fingers or something like that. So I'm going to install it on a pair of gloves that we've got here and then we'll see how it works. Okay I'm part way through the process. You can see I took that needle and stuck it into the glove and pierced the leather. I have to admit was not easy to do. It's hard to get that up there because of the, um, the sharp point catches on everything. But once you've done that, then in theory, you pull it back out. And first, I figured out where I wanted it, you know, by messing around with the phone. And you pull this thread out, and you can see now the thread is coming out of the bottom. So what you do then is you tie that thread to that conductive fabric after you attach it up this up here, and hopefully it all works. So let me finish that up. So I'm almost done here. I basically got the first one all done. And see, I've got the adhesive pad over the tip. It's pretty strong adhesive; seems to stick pretty well. I've tied uh, the thread around the middle of the conductive fabric and then you just stuff it all up in here and that makes contact with your skin and hopefully it'll work so let's put the glove on and we'll give it a quick test okay so let's uh... before i do the others let's test it out so let's give it a try and it looks like it's working i've got it positioned where i thought it felt most natural for me so hopefully that'll help with accuracy uh... having some issues with it though patch probably could be a bit bigger, but we'll see. Yeah, definitely I'm getting some false clicks. Uh, I'm guessing that it's not just not lined up properly to the place I really need it. Kind of hard because it's on a seam on where the glove is. And, you know, I put the glove on and maybe it's in a different spot than it was last time. Okay, so I've got the last piece put on. I'm going to try it out. And uh, I'm having a bit of the trouble just like the last time. You know, my thumb is in a slightly different position than when I measured it out before. When it's in the right spot, it seems to work pretty well. But when it's not, you know, as things move around a bit, it's uh, proven to be a, a little difficult. So I'm not going to have too much success with this right here. In fact, this is really difficult. Um, I might try doing it again in a different position, see if it works better. But this is um, not usable for me right now. So let's try with the fingertip instead, which is not how I normally work with the phone. And I'm still having trouble. It's just the contact patch is, is too small and I'm missing it too often. Practice helps, it seems. So in the end, my winner is the most expensive uh, solution here. It's Isotoner's Smart Touch Gloves. Uh, large contact areas actually work out better for me. Uh, they're warmer gloves. And unlike the AG gloves, uh, the grippy, so you're not going to drop your phone. Uh, the big contact points, unlike the um, glove tips kits, which you know I found to be hard to use, it's a good compromise. Um, you know, still not perfect, not like using your finger, and you know, definitely not as simple as using the AG gloves in terms of hitting any contact point anywhere you naturally hit the display. 
but um, you're not going to drop your phone either, and they're definitely going to keep you warmer. So, in the end, it looks like it's Isotoner's Smart Touch gloves for me. Again, I'm Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com.